G'day, this is Simon at South OC Cars and Coffee. I'm with Bob, who has our car of the week. What is it, Bob? It's a 1929 Oldsmobile Cantrell. It is so special. Hey, check this thing out. Bob, this thing is like the ultimate original Woody, isn't it? I mean, it's just, you don't see a lot of these. How long have you owned the vehicle? Acquired many years ago when it was in very poor condition. In the last five years, I've managed to go through all the bright work, change it out, chrome it, add all the attachments. And it's built in 1929, where all these attachments and accessories were available, not necessarily with this vessel. Yep. On the top is a 1929 version of a Redwood surfboard. It's hollow, like you'd have in an airplane wing. It was made and shaped by Mike Eller, who's an old feller that worked as a shaper for Hobie Alter here wow. in Dana Point. That is so cool. And there's a lot of other unique things about this, like the turn signals, for example, and the stop signals, correct? Yes, this was a custom order. Look at this. One direction or the other. Yep. At night, it lights up the entire intersection. Oh, that's so amazing. Oh, that sort of certainly catch your eye for sure. Now, you had all of the, the, the wood redone on this as well? Correct. On the inside is standard oak, and on the outside is quarter sawn oak. It's, uh, I mean, it's really beautiful, and I think one of the things to consider is this all has to be handcrafted. This isn't something you can go to a you know, uh, classic industries and go, hey, can you give me a panel for this particular vehicle? This all has to be handmade for a couple of reasons. Firstly, because, well, I I'm, can't see anyone making panels for a 1929 Oldsmobile, but secondly, they have to be indiv individually sized for the, for the door frame they're going into, because every single vehicle would have been slightly different, wouldn't it? And each of the d panels is a different size and shape. Yeah, right. There's two panels that is identical. Oh, and, and it's just so special. Had you always wanted a car like this? Is there a reason that this, you gravitated towards this, or did you just see it and go, hey, I want this car? I was looking for a Woody, but something unique. Yep. And the coincidence is, is my grandfather, who worked for Fisher Body, told us a story when my sister and I were about 10 or 11 years old, and he mentioned that one year, they made a car all out of wood. Well, come to find out, this car is the only Woody that Oldsmobile made in 1929. And they did not make another car until 1934. Interesting. Which is a total different style. So that was the vehicle he was talking about all of those years ago. Correct. That's that's just absolutely amazing. Now, mechanically, I'm sure it's very simplistic. You're not. It, that's the beauty of these old cars. Does it have air? Does it have spark? Does it have fuel? And everything else kind of takes care of itself, doesn't it? Correct. It's a, a flathead six cylinder. Uh, it has a, a regular start and it also has a hand crank if necessary. And do you know the history of the car, where it's uh, started its life and what, what it's been used for? In Pikes Peak, Colorado, the owner of one of the hotels wanted to get a car to transport these guests from the train station to the hotel. They had a contest that year, a time trials, going up the uh, Pikes Peak, and Oldsmobile won the time trial. Oh, uh -huh, really? So he ordered the Oldsmobile, one because it had a six cylinder, which was much stronger than any of the Fords that were uh, comparable. Yeah, absolutely. On the front of the car is a unique badge. This is reads Oldsmobile Legion of Honor. They would issue one of these badges, one per year, to the outstanding employee for Oldsmobile. Oh, wow. And being that my grandfather worked on this car, I issued it to him posthumously. That is so good. And I love Pugsley, the mascot you guys might have seen watching this in the car as well. Pugsley's gonna come up and say hello over here. What a beautiful co-pilot you've got there as well. Right. Does he enjoy riding around in the car? Yeah. Sure does. Oh, absolutely amazing. Well, Bob, this is such a great car. We love seeing you here on a regular basis. It certainly turns a lot of heads, and that's what Cars and Coffee is all about. As our winner of Car of the Week, you get this Meguiar's complete kit, including the polishing sponge, cleaner wax, uh, scratch remover, car wash, glass cleaner, interior detailer, and a hot shine foam. You can keep this wonderful looking Oldsmobile in the excellent condition that it is. Thank you so much for bringing it out, and congratulations. Thank you.